Good Friday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning Update. The final decorations are going up and setups underway for Christmas at Old Fort Concho. Held of the first weekend of December, it's the biggest annual fundraiser for San Angelo's historic fort. Thursday, event volunteers talked about all the activities planned for this year. If you visit the parade grounds, you'll get to see reenactors from across the country showcasing life at the fort back in the 1800s. New vendors will be part of the event this year, and a number of fun activities are planned for children. Christmas at Old Fort Concho runs the weekend of December 7th through the 9th. And numerous people gathered together Thursday evening to honor a local woman who had dedicated more than 30 years to helping Concha Valley children. Sammy Rupek retired this month as the executive director of the Concha Valley Home for Girls and the Children's Emergency Shelter. Many of her family and friends attended a retirement reception at Nosh Restaurant downtown. Tina Madrano is the new executive director for Concha Valley Home for Girls and the Emergency Shelter. And TxDOT keeps thousands of gallons of brine ready when colder weather hits the Concho Valley. They'll be using it to brine the roads during the winter weather events. It allows safe road conditions for drivers in case of ice and even possible snow. Crews ask that drivers still be mindful that there could be chances of low visibility and fog. And state troopers say that time management is key and also to allow extra time for travel. Well, speaking of weather, let's find out what's happening in the forecast with Kara Thompson. Kara, still a cool start to the morning, but how's the rest of the day look? Well, like you said, it was pretty chilly out there this morning, but we are expected to warm up into the 70s by the afternoon hours, and there's going to be plenty of sunshine out there as well. So here in San Angelo, high of 70 degrees, sunshine. It's going to be a pleasant Friday overall, and even as we head into the overnight hours, it's going to be dry and mostly clear overall, calm in a low of 39 degrees. And then for tomorrow, much of the same, a high of 71 degrees, maybe a few clouds out there, but otherwise another warm day. And then looking at your weather authority extended forecast for the rest of the week, while we'll be seeing 70s for today and Saturday, temperatures will drop Sunday due to a cold front moving through Saturday evening. We'll continue to see cloud cover for the rest of next week, but temperatures will be warming back up into the upper, the lower 60s for Thursday. So definitely going to be a nice and dry week ahead and a lovely Thanksgiving holiday to end out the forecast.